Hey, everybody. Greetings from the dank basement along with good old Larry. Say hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Another nasal swap review. Oh, yes. Today we're going to explore our feminine side with Morlins de Kralings Bon Bon. Like this. Yeah. You bon Bon. You're blocking your face. It's a good strategy. Bon Bon. Is that better? Yeah. But this is the Dutch milled snuff, Yap Bess and Company. Uh, make an incredible range of snuffs, spices, non tobacco potpourri type snuffs. This is a recipe that goes back to the late 18th century, and this recipe was introduced for women. Uh, it is a Virginia, I believe it is a fermented Virginia. They essentially have four lines of snuffs at Molens. They've got Virginia, fermented Virginia, Latakia, and fermented Latakia. Um, and uh, this, I think, is the fermented Virginia. I dated her, you know. Really? Fermented Virginia, yeah. Wow. Fermented <laughs> Yeah, her. Fermented Virginia Pipolini. Um, Pipolini? Pipolini. Okay. Eddie, do you notice my clever snubbing technique? Whenever I use the De Krylings, Molens snuffs, I like to tip the box like this. You've got your fold-down lid right here. Tap it. Use that as a little sniffing spoon. Wow. Now, I have seen masked hedonists review of Bon Bon, and, well, she's good. I mean, her reviews are really tremendous, but I don't necessarily get the same flavors, I think, that she's getting. First sensation is peppery. Very mild, very nice. There's not really a floral. This is almost a, wow. In my nostrils, it's almost a food scent. Um, I'm going to let the burn settle down just a little bit. This is uh, this is interesting. A woman's snuff. Hmm. Lady snuff. Now, I've already written a review about this on Snuff House. My name is Squinty on Snuff House, if you care to look up my review there. And the last time I tasted this, it was a little different than it is now, and I think that may come from the fact that it's been stored for a little while. Um, I did have this in a Ziploc bag, but I'm going to do another bump. That's very complex, very nice. This could be a nice all-day snuff for somebody. I think this is a good beginner snuff. The grind is medium, almost to coarse, almost to the level of being coarse. It goes up into the nose very easily. I think it's going to stay there. Burn on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being nothing and 10 being white phosphorus. Uh, you're looking at a 3 or a 4, maybe. Prevailing aroma is that Virginia tobacco. It's very, very nice, but there's also some sandalwood in there, a little bit of vanilla or Tonkin bean, uh, pepper. I like this very much. On the squinty scale, where one is hell on earth and five is heaven anywhere you are, I rate this as a 4.25. Could be an all-day snuff, and I love the love that Mullins and DeCrawlings puts into their snuffs. So a lot of their workers are there as volunteers just to keep the craft of grinding snuff with a, a mill that is powered by wind. They actually have two windmills near Crawlings, Holland, and uh, one of them is the Star Mill, the other is the Lily. One dates back to the late 18th century, the other to the early 19th century, and God bless them, they're still using them to make some pretty tremendous I'll be a little bit homespun snuffs. From the Dank Basement, this is your wicked Uncle Squinty, giving this one a 4.25 to Crawling's Molens Bonbon. See you next review. Thanks for watching.